Hi everybody, Chef Bravo here for uh, Bravo Plant Based Channel and BravoPB.com. Uh, I'm here at uh, my kitchen at work and I wanted to show you how to make uh, baba ganoush in a couple different ways. I really like both of these. Uh, it's essentially the same thing with just one little twist. One, I like the creaminess of, of it, and the other one, I like the texture of it. So I'm gonna put it together for you, and then you decide whichever one you like best. Okay, so check this out. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna take my eggplants here, and what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna cut off the top, like so. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll cut the top off of this guy as well. And get rid of that. And then we're gonna cut them in half, lengthwise. And then, so now we have the flesh exposed. Then what I'm gonna do is I'll show you this way so you can see it. Um, I recommend you do it on the cutting board, not on your hand. Uh, I'm doing it this way so you can see better. So I'm gonna take the knife and I'm probably gonna go in about a quarter of an inch deep into it. I'm gonna make some diagonal uh, lines on it about an inch apart. And then I'm gonna go the other way. Uh, and this, once it bakes, it gives me um, a bit of a nice texture. Again, you don't wanna to cut too deep and most definitely do it on the board. I was doing it that way just so you could have a better view of it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on a uh, baking tray, skin side up and then it's gonna go into a 350 degree oven, like so, until they kinda look like this. Okay, so I have this one ready to go so we don't have to wait for the 45-ish minutes that it takes. How you know these are ready is you push on them and they have to be like super, super soft. Uh, so anywhere you push, uh, there is no resistance to it. You see how you end up with these sort of cubes in there, which add a little bit of texture uh, as we do this in one of the two ways I'm gonna show you. All right, I got a spoon here with me, and I'm gonna show you what I have. Over here, I have my cooked garbanzo beans, or chickpeas, and then I have my eggplant. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and scoop it out. And basically, you should end up, uh, if you cook them correctly, you should be able to scoop just about every last bit of this and end up with nothing but the skin here. If there's any flesh attached to the skin, it didn't cook long enough, okay? So I'm gonna do two eggplants to roughly, um, four and a half, five cups of garbanzos. Now that could be maybe you'll need three eggplants because they were smaller uh, or maybe one and a half because they were bigger um, or maybe you need four because you really like eggplant. It's totally up to you. So in addition to this, now I have some uh, roasted garlic which are gonna go in here. I have a food processor. You could use a hand blender if you wanted to. Uh, and I'm gonna add the juice of about two lemons to it. A half a cup of roasted garlic that went in here. Okay, so I just basically made a paste here. So all of that goes in. Okay, after that I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, a hint of black pepper. We're gonna add to this some parsley leaves. And I like them whole. As I bite into this, it's a whole texture thing. And so, now you'll notice that I only mix half of this and there's a reason for that and you'll see it here in just a second. To me, this is a nice way to serve baba ganoush where you have those sort of whole pieces. You can see every ingredient. Uh, but now we're going to do this one uh, just a little bit different. 
add the other bit of that of a noosh in here that I had minus the parsley leaves. Okay, so now I'm making this uh, into sort of like a hummus kind of thing. If I see that I'm having just a little bit of hard time uh, getting it all blended, I might add just a slight bit of uh, vegetable broth, maybe about an ounce at a time. Okay, so I've uh, pureed it, and this might be a little bit more of what uh, you might be accustomed to when you're thinking of baba ganoush. Um, although traditionally, it usually looks a little bit whiter um, in color. That would be because traditionally baba ganoush has um, some olive oil or some extra virgin uh, olive oil in there. Uh, again, this is a true north style or, tr or a true north version. So we don't add any oil, uh, but we do the vegetable broth as needed. And now for the last bit, I am gonna add a couple of, just a little bit of that parsley leaves, but I'm not going to go ahead and blend this uh, really well. I'm basically just gonna leave the leaves in there just long enough for them to get chopped up. So it's like I'm pulsing it. And now, when I bring it out, you see how the parsley there just got chopped up throughout. Um, if you were to leave it in there and get it really nice and creamy, you start to get a green hue to your baba ganoush. Um, not something I necessarily want. I'd rather have the green specks in there. So people think, oh, you know, them, somebody took the time to chop up some fresh herbs and put them in there. Uh, when in fact I did took the time to do that I just didn't do it by hand because everything was going to be in the food processor so as you can see here um, you can see a little bit of the green around and so if I wanted to I could always finish off with a little bit of sesame seeds on top and so now we have the sesame seeds and the parsley sort of throughout. Now you can compare and you might decide you like one versus the other uh, today and then a couple days from now you serve it again and you're like, no, you know what, let's blend it this time. I wanna do something different. So I hope you enjoy that uh, salt and oil free baba ganoush. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.